Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. 2020 is finally here! Woo! <laughs> to kick off the new year, I decided to go ahead and show you guys one of my all-time favorite chocolate cake recipes. Then we're going to decorate it and transform it into a galaxy mirror cake. This cake is nice, shiny, and reflective. It tastes amazing. And let me tell you, those aliens in outer space are definitely going to be jealous of this cake. <laughs> so grab your favorite whisk. Oh, wrong tool. So grab your favorite whisk. <laughs> and let's get baking. The ingredients that you'll need for the chocolate cake recipe include three cups of all-purpose flour, two and two-thirds cup of sugar, half a cup of sour cream, one cup of buttermilk, three-fourths cup of oil, three eggs, half a cup of cocoa powder, a tablespoon of baking soda, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, and one and one-half teaspoons of baking powder. To begin, you first want to preheat your oven to 550 degrees. <laughs> Just kidding, 350. <laughs> So this cake recipe is very simple to make. So first we're going to, in a medium bowl, add all of our dry ingredients. Starting off with our all-purpose flour, our sugar, cocoa powder, baking soda, salt, and baking powder. Whisk all the ingredients together until all of your ingredients are well combined. Now into a large bowl, you want to add all of your wet ingredients, starting off with your buttermilk, your oil, your three eggs, your sour cream, and your vanilla extract. Whisk all these ingredients together. Then you want to add this set of ingredients into your dry mixture and whisk the two until they are well combined. Sometimes when I'm baking, a random thought crosses my mind and essentially I wonder how did people bake back in the day, like centuries and centuries ago, when they didn't have electric mixers, whisks, or any other utensils that we take for granted today? Um, because I'm mixing this better and it's really thick, so it's quite a workout actually. And it sort of makes me wonder how strong those bakers were back in the day. Anyways, your cake batter is done when it looks something like this. It should flow slowly off your whisk. So today we're going to be using three six inch cake pans to make a three tiered chocolate cake. On the bottom of each pan, I like to place a piece of parchment paper and then I like to grease it on top just as a preventative measure so the cake doesn't stick to the cake pan. Divide your batter amongst the three pans. Our cakes are ready to go into our oven and we're gonna bake these for approximately 35 minutes or until a toothpick or cake tester inserted into your cake comes out clean. Alrighty, so our cakes have come out of the oven. I went ahead and inserted my cake tester and it came out clean, which indicated that the cakes are done and fully baked through. I also went ahead and took the cakes out of the pan and leveled them off using a cake leveler. You can also use a serrated knife or a bread knife to cut your cakes as well. And essentially you want to make your cakes nice and flat on top so then when we're layering our cakes and making our three-tiered chocolate cake, it's not lopsided. Because <laughs> that would be a disaster. And let me tell you, that's happened to me several times in the past when I first learned how to bake cakes. <laughs> Then you want to go ahead and place your cakes into the fridge to cool. Shameless plug, I uploaded a few fun videos in the last week or so, so make sure you check those out after this video. Now that our cakes are cool, it is time to frost. So I have a giant 20 inch piping bag filled with some vanilla buttercream. You can definitely use store bought or make your own. And if you wanted to make your own, I will leave the recipe to my video tutorial down below. You first want to start by placing a small dollop of frosting onto a cake plate. Then place one of your cake layers upside down right on top of the frosting. Then make a border using your frosting and fill in your border with the rest of your frosting. Next, add your second cake layer and repeat the same process. For your third cake layer, flip is upside down so it's nice and flat on top and repeat. You then want to frost the sides of your cake and smooth it using an icing smoother. Take off any additional frosting that you may find as you smooth out your cake and continue smoothing until your cake is nice and beautiful. So our cake is frosted. We're going to place this into the fridge to chill for approximately 30 minutes and then afterwards we'll make our mirror glaze to cover the cake and finish it off. Also if you have any extra frosting feel free to just eat it. 
Mmm. So our cake came out of the fridge, it's nice and chill, and now it is time to make our mirror glaze, which will definitely make it look extra elegant and galaxy-ish. The ingredients for the mirror glaze include 8 ounces of white chocolate chip, 1 cup of sugar, half a cup of sweetened condensed milk, half a cup of cold water, a quarter cup of room temperature water, a half a cup of corn syrup, 5 teaspoons of gelatin, and food coloring in the colors of black, purple, blues, pinks, and white. This is optional, but you can also use edible glitter. So I know a lot of people are typically intimidated by mirror glaze cakes, but they're actually super simple to make. So first you want to add all of your gelatin into your half a cup of cold water, stir it a little bit, and just set it aside for five minutes to let it bloom, and it'll start to look something like applesauce. Setting your gelatin aside, in a medium saucepan you want to add your corn syrup, your quarter cup of water, and your one cup of sugar. Stir it until they're well combined, then you want to place it on your stove on medium low heat, and let it come to a boil and it should take about seven to eight minutes. Once you reach a slow boil, remove it from the heat, add your gelatin and whisk it through until it is well incorporated into your wet mixture. Next, add your sweetened condensed milk and whisk it again. So at this point, you want to add all of your hot liquid into your bowl of chocolate and let it sit for a few minutes. And then we're going to use this tool. So this is called an immersion blender. You can use it in soups and stocks. Um, essentially, it's a blender in a stick. <laughs> and so we're gonna be using this to sort of blend the chocolate and the hot liquid together to make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay then. I guess I didn't have it in all the way. <laughs> it's so funny, so Daisy... <laughs> so Daisy was actually... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> so, so Daisy was actually napping on the floor right there. And <laughs> so Daisy was actually napping on the ground. And her reaction when I dropped the immersion blender in the sink. She was like, and then she immediately ran to the couch. I'm gonna get my phone out. Look at this look that she's giving me. She's like, how dare you scare me out of my beauty sleep. <laughs> So the hot liquid and the chocolate have been sort of marinating for a few minutes. So now it is time to blend it all together using a blender or an immersion blender, whichever you have on hand. And it should look something like this, nice and smooth. Then go ahead and place your glaze through a sifter to catch any bubbles or bits and pieces that don't belong in our mirror glaze. Then you want to go ahead and separate it amongst your bowls. Today I'm using five different bowls for five various colors of the galaxy, but you can definitely use whichever colors you want depending on the event, occasion, or holiday. So now you want to combine your two bigger bowls of mirror glaze and sort of gently just stir it. You do not want to mix it. Then you can go ahead and place it on top of your cake and just let it gently flow. Mmm, my oh my, this looks delicious. <laughs> then you can go ahead and add your other colors in various spots. You can sort of just sway it back and forth or just pour it over, whichever you prefer. Then go ahead with your edible glitter dust and spray it onto your cake and your cake is complete. So I already cut into the mirror glaze cake. It smells amazing first of all because the chocolate cake is just so aromatic and whew. But look at how shiny it is. Look at how beautiful and galaxy-ish it looks. Mm -mm. Time to dig in. Mm. I'm such a mess today. I just literally threw a piece of cake at myself. Mm, but the cake is nice and moist. Mmm, it really complements the buttercream frosting. The mirror glaze looks beautiful. And overall, such a pretty cake and a great dessert to start off the new year. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me once again on my channel. If you enjoyed the recipe, make sure to give a thumbs up. And do not forget to share the video if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be in the loop of any other galaxy type videos that I upload on the channel. As always, remember to keep things simple yet elegant, and I hope you guys have a great start to your new year, and hmm, that you continue to watch my videos. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!